uh, certainly a very good win for our team. Very pleased with the progress that we're making as a team. Uh, this is a game we lost last year. This was VMI and at home. And this is, this is that same time period and the, the game that we won this year. So uh, we feel really good about it. Um, the way we lost in Orangeburg was really tough on us last year, uh, up nine with a couple minutes to go. And we felt like we had something to prove. Uh, we felt like um, we, wanted, we wanted to establish ourselves as, as um, you know, a team that's going to be very good at home. Uh, we wanted to continue to work on our pace, and we did some really nice things tonight. I'm really proud of our guys. I love that they made a run and cut it to 10, and that we had to respond and execute with freshmen, Travis McConico playing out of position, guys that hadn't been in that situation. Uh, it's very healthy that we're in that situation, the way we responded, DD making plays down the stretch. Um, you know, if we make our free throws, it's not even an issue. So, uh, very, very thankful for the win, uh, excited about this team, excited about our growth, love how we played tonight, the aggression that we played with offensively, the way that we shared the ball. Uh, eight turnovers, eight turnovers at that pace is amazing, absolutely amazing. Very thankful for that. So good win and uh, looking forward to getting back to work tomorrow. Christian, things got a little chippy there towards the end a little bit. Was was this a game you guys really wanted after, especially after what happened last year? Uh, yeah, but this it was the next game, so that's the game we wanted. That was our national championship game. So, uh, coach challenged us to be more aggressive, to be more, be more fearless and relentless. So we go out there, we're like we had a chip, a chip on our shoulder. So you know, uh, me being uh, one of the leaders on the team, I had to come out there fearless. So they see me. Uh, going after it and you know doing all the extra stuff, getting be, being feel, fearless, then they will follow. So I just try to uh, do that from the jump. You know, be fearless, have a lot of enthusiasm, and be energetic. So, coach, what you did to build that twenty-two point lead. You know, if you're going to have a a lull and they cut it to ten, but you built the twenty-two point lead. Talk about the things y'all were doing so well. Uh, obviously, making shot. You were more aggressive going to the basket. Dd was was driving a lot. Um, and you created turnovers. Yeah, Dede's the fastest guard in the Big South. There's no doubt. Uh, he is a fast, fast man. And when he gets ahead of steam and we want to outlet the ball and let him use those skills, and we want to we want to let him be creative in the open court. And last year he was hesitant and wasn't sure. And this year he's been very sure. And I love the way he played late. Love the way he ran our team. He wanted the ball. Um, and so we built a 22-point lead by being aggressive, getting some stops. We got pretty, pretty deep in foul trouble. And then we missed free throws. So a 22-point lead, if you track it back, and I'll have to look at the timeline, if we make those free throws, it probably stays about 16, 18, 19, and we're okay. McConico had a three on the right side that put us up 23, and then he had a three on the left side in the corner that would have put us up 13, 16, something like that. So uh, we missed some shots, missed some free throws, got to the free throw line, missed some free throws, which allowed them to get back in it. Also, our defensive transition suffered a little bit because we were continuing to press, and Travis McConico was now playing the five position. So in our press, he's over the ball, and now we're asking him to sprint back, and that's not a natural, that's not natural steps for him. His natural is every day we, we get after him to get over the ball and buy a second so our guards can get in play. And uh, so it was, we just had to piece it together. Uh, we went, our 1-3-1 late was very helpful to stem the tide and then go to a 2-3 zone late was very helpful. Uh, and um, we're, we're thankful our guys are able to execute like that. And also Duncan did a really good job. I'm really happy about Duncan, the way his poise late, getting the ball inbounds late against the press is hard. He made good plays. Also love that we had five guys in double figures and how we shared the ball, 14 assists, only eight turnovers. That's, that's stuff you can win with. So uh, got to keep working, pushing on the boards. We were really small late when they got some rebounds. So got out rebounded. That's something that's not typical around here. We want to rebound better. And um, I guess we'll just have to ask Christian to rebound too. I don't know. We got 27 points, all those assists, and maybe go get us a few rebounds. Yeah, I got you. How about the play of Sean Price tonight, 13 and 8? I mean, off your bench, he kind of – I gave you a little spark. You know, we're playing, we're playing without a, a pretty elite Big South player. And uh, Sean's next in line. And when our bigs got in foul trouble, uh, Sean needed to step up. And Sean stepped up. 
and Sean's a very good player, All-State 5A Florida player and highly recruited kid. And, uh, it was his turn, and all that does is earn him more minutes the next game because he was also pretty good defensively, uh, took care of the ball, um, and rebounded the ball. Was, he's tough. He's a big, strong, 6'4", 205-pound guy. And um, so we're very thankful for Sean. And Sean went out tonight and did his job. How important is it to have a game like this early in the season where you know it's still around that 10-point mark late and there's a lot of situations you can still work on? And, and how much does that come through later in the year? It's awesome. I mean, I love it. Uh, we talk about in-game situations. We actually have talked about them not enough because we've had to put in our whole system with so many new players. So um, we got a good closer, though. I mean, I, he, he doesn't, Christian doesn't miss free throws late and has the ability to get open late. Um, and so those, all those situations are very healthy for us moving forward. But the most healthy thing was it went to 10 and it never went deeper. And we responded and responded. And um, it, did, I, I wanna, it did get a little chippy out there, but we're, you may see some of that because we're going to be aggressive. And we're, gonna, we're not backing down. We're not backing down from anybody with any jersey, nobody. And we're going to be really, really aggressive and determined. And we're trying to build that culture. We're on the court. We're warriors. And, and off the court, we're going to want to be gentlemen. But we're going we're, we're gonna to be very aggressive in what we do offensively and defensively. How, long for, how much long is Flan? Flan is day to day. I mean, that is the absolute. He had his pain, it's a, it's a uh, stress reaction. Uh, his pain was on a scale of 1 to 10, was a 9. His pain now is, this is Flan's words, so you'll have to know Flan to understand it, a 0. 0.7. Seven. So, so only Flan could come up with a 0. 0.7 is where the pain is. So less than 1, but more than a half is what he said. So that would be 0. 0.7. But if he actually was better in math, it would be 0. 0.75. Um, but so he, he's going to be back. It's, he's day to day. And boy, we miss him. But what a blessing. What a blessing. Everything has a silver lining and everything. I just believe God has blessings and everything. We're, we're, Sean Price is so valuable. He's, and McConico is learning the three position. And Duncan is getting more minutes than he would have. And all it's going to do is make us deeper and more dangerous going forward.